this course are a metre 40 in height and are posing no problem for our first competitor. It is clear for Remy Arts and Supreme. First rider in for Finland. Be swiftly on then to uh, our second rider. This rider represents Ireland. This is Gary Dooley with CSF Olympic Jewel. <laughs> Drawn order for this first round. And then in the second round, we'll come forward in reverse order of placings from round one. Sadly, fence one goes down for Gary Dooley. CSF Olympic Jewel is an eight-year-old mare that Gary's been riding internationally since 2022. Had some wins in the metre 35 classes with this horse. And they've started to step up to the 145 level at the back end of last year. So really climbing their way up the ranks. Gary Dooley then comes home just with that one pole down. Unfortunately, that first fence going for him. To the first rider out for Ireland. Just the four. Swiftly on then to Norway, who, and interestingly, this rider also has the first fence down. It's Ingrid Sontai Bjorklund with Ari Z. We have that water tray there. Just set in the middle of the arena once again. This course built by Rafael Suarez and his team. That's a little deep there. Need to get the rhythm back up. It's going to be eight in total then for Ingrid Sontai Bjorklund of Norway. Just right in that team led by Mikael Kolind. As we move on to Switzerland, Christian Sotas is the next. There's the uh, team manager for Switzerland. And their first rider is Margot Blanchard. With a touch of Royal Serrano. She's a very long one there. Unfortunately, they can't make the back rail as a result. Okay, 
Bo competed with this horse in the Challenge Cup at the Nations Cup final last year. As well at the water extends the stride nicely. But uh, looks like we pick up the four there. Margot Blanchard then eventually picks up the 16 for Switzerland. Only one clear so far, that's our first competitor out, Remy Arts. Their Tegnestet is next up with Montalino 2 riding for Sweden. Fair competed in the 2021 Children's European Championships. This horse is really eye-catching with those face markings. Big white face. She's really tried to get the balance back and uh, go for the deep one to that upright, but unfortunately found it come up a little short with this 12-year-old gelding. This has been a, a horse for Sphere. Since the end of last year, this horse was with uh, Francesco Tutturi Tutturiello of uh, Italy prior to that. Well, jumping in the end for Sver Tegnestet. We head then to Belgium now, the home team with Louis Lambrecht coming up first for them. Louis just inside the top 500 under 25 riders in the world rankings. Voted the junior Europeans last year. That was with the horse Liana D. Severine Dubanet is one that he's just had since the end of last year, just since December, in fact. This horse was ridden by Xinjia Zhang of China prior to that. Louis Lambrecht and the new ride, Severine Dubanet Z. Certainly getting their partnership off to a really exciting start. Louis 
On then now to the Netherlands to Timon Voss with Cadillac Z. All time European Championship rider, including uh, Team Silver last year and in 2022 in the Junior Europeans and Team Gold in the Children's European Championships in 2019. Cadillac Z is a nine-year-old gelding and this is the uh, second week of international competition for Tiemann with this horse here at Centaur Park, former rider Robert Voss as well. Well, Team in Voss drops, drops that one pole for four for the Netherlands. Remember, we have four riders per team and one drop score per team. Over we go to Poland now, to Julia Ganowska. is called number 128 and Julia's had quite a lot of, of success with this horse in Poland in Sopot and at Poznan. The most recent competition at Sopot was a 1 meter 40 class where they placed third with a lovely double clear. Well, it's 12 jumping penalties for Yulia Ganowska, number one, 28. <laughs> To Germany now then, this is the final rider of the uh, first riders for the teams. This is Naomi Himmelreich with Flying Kiss. in the uh, one-star Young Horse competitions and uh, brings forward this seven-year-old mare. Who's been fairly lightly competed mainly in the one-star classes. They've had some success in the junior competitions in Hagen last summer.
Just the one pull down and a pretty quick time, 69.87. Naomi Himmelreich and Ryan Kiss, just the four. So we have uh, three riders on four, two clears, a one eight falter, two twelves and a 16. So quite a mixed bag from our first competitors of the teams. So back to Finland then to Mona Relanda with Ibo SMH. They have one clear already on the board. She's working hard to get the control back around the turns here as well. But she's had a few podium finishes with this horse over in the uh, competitions in Norway and Drammen. Nice to see this pair there at the Drammen leg of the Nations Cup. Sadly, this is all starting to fall apart a little bit though for Mona Rolanda. We're on to 16 now. So finishes on the 16, a uh, bit of a tail of two halves then so far for Finland with the clear and the 16. But as ever, we will need to wait until all riders have been established there. So. Paddy Reap comes next with Krivar Special. Ireland, of course, were the winners in the Pony Nations Cup earlier on. Safely through the uh, finishing marker, just the one fall down again, so it, uh, it's no clean sheet for Ireland. But just four on the board for now. Let's go back to Norway to uh, our next rider, Siri Endresen. Siri's mount is Quapo di Tutti Z. Again, another rider who's been pretty experienced up to the three star level. And some of her other rides. Quapo di Tutti is a 16 year old gelding. 
being a long-term partner for Siri. And uh, was her partner for the Junior Europeans last year. Well, it's clear for Siri Andresen of Norway. So great to see, great to hear, excuse me, some cheers going up from the crowd. Great support from the teams. On to Switzerland then, to Ethan Meyer with Nairobi Vanden Bishop. We heard the pole go there, so it's four so far for Ethan as he works hard to get through the triple combination. Well, it's 12 for Ethan Meyer and Nairobi Vanden Bishop of Switzerland. It means the minimum score for the Swiss team will be 12 from round one. Of course, we'll be adding the scores together from round one and round two. Good overall score across the two rounds in this junior competition, this pre horse auction Belgium. Sweden. It's now the turn of Elvira Arby Eriksson. With a fun name for this horse, it's Pikachu Ter Elsen. This is Elvira's only horse for international competition. She's jumped really well with this. Uh, plenty of clears. In fact, in international competition, she has never dropped from one pole yet. Let's hope that she can keep that impressive record. Combination of one cl classes, uh, one two classes in Draman, one in 2022 and one in 2023. But this excellent record is uh, still standing for Elvira Abi Eriksson. Clean sheet for the Swedish rider keeps them in a strong position. Thank you. 
Grappi, Wagner, Jori, Jori, Wagner, Wiebner geëindigd. Gent, Landers, Hans, Echt, Vos, Wiebner geëindigd. Deze week Grand Prix. Twee mee toe op Europees Kastmutschap. Paris, Hens, Vos. Paris van Dusseler is the next rider out for Belgium. Riding Sido van der Goedemolen Z. Oh, what a pity. Just comes in a little sharp on the turn into the triple combination. Just one down for Paris van Dusselaar with Saido van der Goedemolen Z. For the Netherlands, now it's the turn of Jorni van Santvoort. Jorni rides Esprit. This is Jorni's first Nations Cup appearance. At the, uh, this mare has competed at the European Children's Championships with Yoni back in 2022. And they're back up to this very top level now. Line for Yoni van Sandvoort. Gets the nice six strides down to the final fence. Goes for that final timer to make sure there are no time penalties added and gets the clear for the Netherlands. For Poland, it's the turn of Eva Maciszak. It's secret weapon L. has competed in a few Nations Cup legs course with this horse, including in uh, Shamarin. Unfortunately, it doesn't quite get the right uh, line through the triple combination. We have a refusal. The party will just reconstruct that. So Eva 
and he approaches the triple. It comes early in this course, just at fence four. Does extremely well to get through the flags at the end of there. That was really good positive riding from Ava. Just needs to now keep that positivity up for the rest of the course. Hoof in the water, but it doesn't matter at this stage. It of course matters to the team score, but what's sometimes more important uh, when you've had a stop like that is just to keep that positive momentum going. Really give the horse confidence then around the course. This is a 13-year-old gelding and fairly long-term partner for Ava. So she was managing this extremely well. She will, of course, pick up some time penalties. Uh, so it's 16 for jumping and 6 time. 83.93 gives her 22 in total, but excellent riding to get round to that course. It was very well done. Ava Fetch is up next with Katinka Ness. Riding for Germany. This is the last of our second riders. It's part of the gold medal winning Children's European Championship team in 2022 with the Quintessa Hawks. Here's a horse that's been competed up to the four-star jumping level with Sophia Schindelbeck. Ava taking on the ride at the end of last year. And she's already had four top five placings with this horse. Eight then as the total score of Ava. Well, we're halfway through round one. We've had two riders for each team go. We go back to Finland now to Vera Salmina with Singer. This is really unfortunate, a real disagreement here for Vera Salminen and Singer. Oh, that's such a shame. Well, Vera Salminen then is uh, eliminated for Finland. So we will now uh, really need their final competitor to uh, jump a good round. And the rider will be uh, drawn at least. But yes, elimination for Vera Salminen and Singer. Next up, then, we turn back to Ireland. We are 
is the turn of Cameron Clark for Ireland. Cameron's had a little bit of a stint last year jumping in the summer in uh, Europe with this horse, Conto de Rep. He's also part of the winning team of this very leg last year. Two down for Cameron Clark, which is a score of eight. Ireland then have a middle score of eight in this round. Third rider for Norway is Martina Berheimskar with Dion. Norway sits on an eight and a clear, so a second clear would be, of course, very valuable. Looking for the lowest score possible, of course. Representative comes home with 16 in total. It means a middle score of 16. Go then to uh, Switzerland next. Their third rider will be Zachary Lillier with Kalan.
just skipping nicely through the double there. Come on, this nine-year-old that he's been developing for some time in these junior classes just drops the one pole for the uh, Swiss team. Well, the horse is called Mexico, but our next rider represents Sweden. This is Ella Lofkist and her horse Mexico. jumping here uh, last month just only dropping one pole per round and then in another just picking up some time penalties sadly we do have one down here so far That's such a shame. Takes another pole in the final line. Ella Lockist finishes on a score of eight for Sweden. Minimum score for the Swedish team is eight. We're trying to incorporate the uh, the high score there as the drop score, but still we won't know what that will be until the end of this competition. the home team then once again it's uh, Jules Danuta with Hector is an 11 year old gelding that Jules has been riding since uh, for about a year now had a period of time in the uh, on the sunshine tour in Spain earlier this year been quite successful in some of the junior classes in Mechelen in December as well needs to now pick this up a little bit, just needs to get the impulsion back for the final line. But gauges that really well, so it is clear for uh, Belgium still stay on a provisional score of zero. Nick Nanning is up next with Horse Jim's Klassina for the Netherlands. The Dutch team are sitting on a four and a clear. Only one team has two clears on their roster so far, that's Team Belgium. Push 
push too much for the water jump and it's an approach that works well for horse gyms class either. Coming down this final line, we are well inside the time allowed. Nick Nanning comes home with the clear to keep the Netherlands absolutely neck and neck with Belgium. They're on exactly the same scores, two clears and a four for both of those teams. Looking very competitive indeed. Well, two teams are yet to field their third riders. Next will be Poland. The third rider is Nell Salka. I'm sure if you were following the uh, Youth Nations Cup series in previous years, you will be very familiar with Nell's name. She jumped at plenty of the Nations Cup legs, often with this horse, Digisport Carlo. Sadly takes the first fence though. What a pity, Nel Salka lands in the water with Digisport car, though. in total then for Nell Salka, a bit of an uncharacteristic performance, not very consistent and experience combination, uh, going to be 24 at minimum for Poland unfortunately. of competition experience including the nation's cups she jumped a double clear here last year for germany sadly we have two down so far and it's a total of eight in the end for emma Wackel and classic white
The uh, Finnish team now, with, sadly with that elimination, they will have to count this score. It's uh, Jona Ili with Keltas Quidian. They have a clear, their first rider out, and a 16 so far. So they're looking for as little as possible to add to that 16 score. Shame. Uh, Yona Illy really using the voice there to try to get Keltas Kudian through the water. I really hope that she's able to get through the seconds time. Well, things could go very wrong very quickly for the Finnish team. Fantastically done, really well done to get through there. Such a tricky refusal in the first instance. Of course, this will be quite costly in terms of time now. Two is the eventual score then for Finland's Jona Illy. Well, we of course will discount the elimination. We have to have three counting scores. It's 38 from round one. Not what they had in mind and not what we would have expected with that early clear either. Really unfortunate for the Finnish team. Emily Maloney is up next with Temple Alice for Ireland. She's a gold medalist from last year's Pony Europeans with Lady Crown. takes on this ride from Eddie Maloney. Has done so for about the past year. A bit of a break from the international competitions and uh, this is Emily's second Nations Cup with this horse. The first was at this very venue last year. They are part of the winning Irish team. a little bit sticky down there but does well to then keep things moving up down that final line and very good to the last as well it's a clear for Ireland the uh, first clear of their team finishing on a score of eight from round one then to Mikkel Fred and Nilsson, another experienced Nations Cup rider.
girls really experienced, particularly in the pony categories. The bronze medalist, at the pony Europeans, that's where the Matty Rory Warrior, Ona van der Hiedekeit. Here's the ride. And this is one that he's been contesting some two star classes with, as well as the junior competitions. down for Mikkel, Fred and Nielsen of Norway. So they discount the score of 16 with the two eight pointers. They count 16. As it stands, they are in third place in our completed teams. We still have six left to complete. Switzerland's Lou Puch is next with vital horse Unamor Lagula. Switzerland in a bit of a tricky position. Their best score so far from round one is a four. The worst is a 16. So a clear would keep them neck and neck with Norway. Any fence down from Lou Puch would see them drop behind. Another experienced competitor with plenty of Nations Cup appearances behind her. One down then for Luku and Vital Horse Unamora Lagula. It will be something to add. We'll discount the 16. We'll go forward on 20. It's third place out of those four so far. Well, another familiar name to the Nations Cup circuit is Carl Hugo Westergren. And Carl Hugo rides Dagada de Gravis for Sweden. European Championship rider. But as I say, extremely experienced in the Nations Cup competitions as well. They were the second place team in Drammen last year. And this 11 year old mare knows her way around. These of course has also been a ride for Marcus Westergren. It's Carl Hugo's ride for the Nations Cup final in 2022. Oh what a shame. Double combination comes down. Sweden's Carl Hugo Westergren. That score of 12 can be dropped. Their score for round one across. 
Charles, their team will be 12. They go into second place. Ireland retain the lead. But we do have two very strong looking teams coming next. Ireland on eight, Sweden on 12, Norway on 16. 20, 38, four teams left to compete in round one. Final rider for the home team is Sefa Rutas. Sefa's ride is Coffee Cook de Muse. Cook to Muse is one of the youngest horses in our field today. This is just an eight year old stallion. And that Zephyr has been riding in a good few two star and three star competitions. Most recently did a two star Grand Prix in Cronenberg. 17th place. then gets the clear for Belgium. That is an exceptional result for the Belgian team. Nothing at all to carry forward from round one. They are away and above the uh, leading team at the moment. The only team who could match them would be the Netherlands. Our next rider will try to do just that. It's Siba Lehmans with Jem van der Rielu Z. Seventeenth in the FEI jumping under 25 rankings. He's a really experienced competitor with two European Pony Championships under his belt already. Bronze and silver medalist from both of those. Rilu is a nine-year-old stallion. And again, they've been jumping at some big shows already this year and at the end of last year. They were 14th in the under-25 Grand Prix at Amsterdam in January. This horse is starting to jump at the metre 45 level. They jumped to meter 45 class in Lear last month and won. Final fence, Siba Lehmann's really showing the class of Jem Vidirilu Z. Gets a clear as well. So we have two teams neck and neck on a clean sheet. Belgium and the Netherlands, very much the two. The two strongest teams in this junior pre-horse auction Belgium. In this nation's cup. Two remain then in round one. This is uh, Pogan's Iga Biegalska. Again. Experienced pair, ones that I'm sure you will have seen plenty of times in the past. They jumped in a lot of the Nations Cups as well as in the European Championships for 2023, 2021, and 2019. Just steadies coming into the triple combination. 
Canavaz is such a great partner for Iga Biagalska, the part of the second place Nations Cup team in Shamarin last year. Sadly, the water jump is not their friend. This is really unfortunate. Poland are sitting on quite a high selection of scores. Iga Biagalska does well to get through the water jump now. Well, unfortunately, this total score will be 27 for Iga Biagalska. That's going to be the drop score. They will count 46. And they are now in the bottom spot among our teams. Finland are in seventh. Poland, though, in eighth with one team left to complete. Those two out in front are the Netherlands and Belgium, those two with nothing to add from round one. And Ireland are your third place team for now with that score of eight. The final rider for round one here is Leonard Tillman with Bai Balu. The best he could do is, to, of course, to jump clear, but the best that his team could do now is to finish on a score of 12, and that will put them equal fourth with Sweden. That's such a shame. Leonard Tillman comes down this final line and comes home with eight in total. We'll drop one of the scores of eight and Germany will come back on a score of 20. They're in fact level with Switzerland. So your top three are uh, Belgium and the Netherlands. They tie for the top spot on a clean sheet. They're followed then by Ireland in third and eight. Well, continuing down the list then, that Sweden come back with 12. Norway will come back with 16. Germany and Switzerland are tied on 20. And then following them is uh, Finland on 38 and Poland on 46. Well, as ever, we have some individual competitors to contest this same round. And, uh, we have the first of those heading into the ring now. We also have the second round of the Nations Cup, the pre horse auction Belgium to bring you. That is scheduled for 4.40 local time. That, excuse me, is scheduled for 5.45 local time. So 5.45, that's 4.45 if you are watching in the UK, but 5.45 European time. That is when we are anticipating the second round of this Junior Nations Cup. We'll sign off for now and see you in around about an hour's time.
All the best, best so long. Well, the medics are here, and uh, they will help you, for sure. We have another three to go on this week. Yeah, we have uh, two thousand pounds of one pound this week. We don't have three pounds this week. We don't have three pounds this week. We have another one of the end of the week. We have a lot of that. Ik ben er niet. 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 Ik ben er niet.
Good afternoon and welcome back to this pre-horse auction at Belgium, the Junior Nations Cup, first leg of this Nations Cup series for 2024. We have of course brought you the, the ponies, the children's and the young rider competitions. The juniors are the final set of competitors to conclude their Nations Cup here at Centaur Park in Belgium. The first leg, as I say, of this new season of this prestigious series for young riders. Well, we come back with uh, eight teams. Top eight, of course, come back for round two in these Nations Cup competitions. Uh, that means Poland sadly finish in ninth place overall. And they do not come back. But Finland are the first team out. They come forward in eighth place from round one with a total score of 38. That 38 was made up of one clear round from Remy Arts, who will be the first rider in. A 16 from Mona Rolanda and 22 from Yona Ili. Sadly, the third rider was eliminated. But they are bidding to add as little as possible to their tally. In this competition. Finland's Remy Arts then with Supreme. As I say, this pair jumped clear in round one. And they were the first team out in round one. Triple combination this time around. But a good few faults around this course, the uh, water jump caused plenty of problems uh, but sadly a fence goes down there for Remy Arts. This is one part of the course where the course design team led by uh, Rafael Suarez uh, the, uh, the course encourages them to move on and move forward and get a little bit pacey then up to the fence and uh, results in a fence down. Total will be eight with two fences down for Remy Arts of Finland. On then to uh, Switzerland now. Switzerland finished on a score of 20. And Margot Blanchard is their first rider in with a touch of Royal Serrano. 
Margot picked up 16 in round one. And so that's what you see in the corner of your screen there. That is the score, cumulative score for these riders across the two rounds of jumping. So even though Margot has only just started, you can see that's 16. So it's uh, going to be an additional eight for Margot Blanchard and a touch of Royal Serrano. It's a, uh, that total is, that you saw was 24. So let's go to Germany then. Germany also come forward with a score of 20. And their first rider out is Naomi Himmelreich with Flying Kiss. Naomi just dropped one pole in round one. Oh, what a shame. Triple combination has been causing some problems and you really have to hit the distances right here. So having uh, the first part down has then caused Naomi to have a bit of a knock-on effect and take down fence, uh, the, the second fence as well. So it's two already in this round. over some of these fences but she does well done final line it's two down in round two for Naomi from all right for Germany it's her eight Well, on then to Norway. <coughs> Norway come forward with their first rider, Ingrid Sante Bjorklund, with REZ8 in round one. And Norway come here with 16 from round one in total. Gauges that triple combination really well. Nothing to add further then for Ingrid Sante Bjorklund. 
Sweden come into the ring next, <clears throat> coming forward with a score of 12 in total as a team. And Sver Tegnestet is their first rider. Fairs riders Montalino too. She picked up 12 in round one, but hers was the drop score. Her teammates all jumped really well as well. She's just outside the top 350 in the FEI jumping under 25 rankings. Montalino too is a 12-year-old Hanoverian gelding. But up goes the music and a huge improvement on the 12 from round one to jump clear in round two, and that could be crucial. It's getting a little tighter in the points in our teams going for the uh, top placings. Sweden there coming forward on a score of 12. Ireland are just one fence ahead of them on eight. So the pressure will be on. Ireland's first rider, rider out is Gary Dooley. CSF Olympic Jewel is the ride. as I say, in round one. Ireland on that score of eight, so only one fence separates them from Team Sweden. Then there's a gap of two fences up to our two leading teams, Belgium and the Netherlands. But Gary rides this horse so in such a balanced way. Oh, what a shame. Such a balanced way, and he, there was really not very much wrong coming down to that Oxa. One down, it's four for Ireland. And they'll be hoping that they can grab some clears to keep them on eight. Sweden are hot on their heels. First of our teams on a clean sheet then from round one is Belgium. Belgium field Louis d'Ambrecht first with Sabrine Dubane Z.
Louis jumped clear in round one, as I say. One of three clears for Belgium. Could be the first rider to give us a double clear. Would be a pretty big achievement, but this is a big jumping horse. And yes, he does get there. 74-74 on the clock. First double clear goes to Louis Lambrecht and Severin Dubane Z Belgium are off to a flying start. So the first rider in for uh, the Netherlands now is Timon Voss, Cadillac Z. Here's the ride. Timon just dropped one pole in round one. The Netherlands on that clean sheet as well. It's going to be a little bit of a battle, I feel, between the Netherlands and Belgium. These two teams in the strongest positions coming out of round one. Unfortunately, though, this is not now going Team and Voss's way. There's a pole down. Huge amount of pressure on these young riders. One fence down for Team and Voss. The Netherlands need double clears from their other three riders if they are to stay at the top of the tree. We go now to a uh, Swiss rider. The uh, second rider for Finland, Mona Rolanda, has withdrawn from competition. And so we go to Ethan Mayer of Switzerland with Nairobi Vanden Bishop. Ethan picked up 12 in round one. And Meyer just gets the control back, coming down to the final fence. It's one further fence down, though. A four for our Swiss representative. Germany then now to uh, Eva Furch with Katinka S. Two down in round one and Germany sit on a score of 20 from that first round. It uh, has them neck and neck with Switzerland from round one. But Switzerland will certainly add at least four now. So their minimum score for this competition can, can be 24. They cannot score lower than that.
Well, pole now down in the triple combination for Ava Furch. Gets uh, a little deep in there, and it has caused so many problems. It does come quite early in the course. down this final line then Ava Furch and Katinka uses her body so well to get that balance back one down though good results considering the two down in round one one for the pole for Ava Furch which means that Germany also are on a score of 24 neck and neck with Switzerland Norway now have a little bit of breathing room. They've already had one clear in round one, and Siri and Dressen will be looking for another for them. It would be a double clear if Siri can jump a uh, good round here. Siri rides Quapo di Tutti Z. Siri Andresen pulls it out of the bag for the second double clear of this competition and keeps Norway on a score of 16. They now have two opportunities to keep on that score and they might just keep climbing in this competition. Well, Sweden are the next team in. They are in fourth place after round one. And Elvira Abi Eriksson is their next rider with Pikachu Ter Elsen. They were clear in round one as well. So another double clear would ah would have been great, but sadly one pole goes. The Swedish rider. Ooh, very tricky jump there. I think she's cleared that one without having a pole down. Oh, that's a shame. They were just quite unsettled down those most recent lines. So it is a stop for Elvira RV Eriksson. Does well there to get through the double. Just this final line. He's working on eight, but she's going to pick up some time penalties. Time allowed 78 seconds here. So it's going to be 12 for jumping and six for time. And it gives a total of 18 for Elvira Arby Eriksson. That's a pity. And could 
fact, things for the Swedish team. It doesn't leave them with very much room now. This competition can change at the drop of a hat. Back to Ireland then now. Of course, they won the Pony Nations Cup earlier on today. Always a very strong team, and Paddy Reap is their second rider in the Kriva Special. One down in round one. Once again, our triple combination is becoming a bit of a bogey fence here. They need to be very careful coming into that, but they do need to still have the impulsion to get them over the third, and the second and third fences. Paddy Root almost comes to a standstill getting the control back for the upright. Further fences down then for Paddy Reap. We're going to be on eight. Uh, puts Ireland now onto a minimum score of 12. Uh, Sweden, of course, on the minimum score of 12. So things are hotting up in this competition and things are getting much more close. Let's go back then to Belgium. The team looking really strong. This is Paris van Dusselaar with Saido van der Koutemolen Z. Just dropped one pole in round one. Three clears, though, from her teammates kept them on a clean sheet. And we have one clear already. Ah, just the lightest touch with the back hoof on that front rail. One down once again for Paris. Oof, very, very lucky there. A bit of a miscommunication on the stride, but they made it. One fence down then for Paris van Dusseva of Belgium. They still could finish on a clean sheet. They're still in the race. Dutch team are the final team to start in this competition. So they are the next team to bring forward their second rider. It's Joni van Sandvoort with Esprit. He was one of the first, the first of the three clears for the Dutch team. They already have one pole down from their first rider. And that means if Yoni has a fence down, they will instantly be behind Belgium. We need a clear here. It's essential to keep it. in with a chance of winning. Oh no, a fence goes. Oh, Yoni van Sandvoort, the triple combination catches her out as well. Ah, it was a beautiful clearing round one. But the Netherlands will be on at least four now. Oh, such a shame. This really makes a huge difference to the Dutch team. It will be four 
And as you see there from the team summary, it's at least four for them overall, with two riders still to come. So uh, back to Finland now then. The second rider withdrew from competition. Uh, this is Vera Salmina, who sadly was eliminated in round one. In fact, at this very same spot, Vera's horse Singa was not at all keen to head to fence two in round one. And unfortunately, having a similar problem here again. feel for her. It's uh, not a nice position to be in. Well, it looks like uh, Vera Salminen is going to retire, which means that uh, the, the Finnish team will be eliminated. They must have three counting scores. And unfortunately, with the withdrawal of their second rider, they're not going to be able to do that. Well, uh, it's the first fence down for our next competitor, uh, Zachary Luye of Switzerland. Zachary rides Kala. Zachary dropped one pole in round one. We now have one down here in round two.
Well, unfortunately, one for fence down for Emma Bach of Germany. Some cheers going up, though, for her minimum score for Germany is 28. As we follow into our next third round of Team Norway. Norway come next. They have one cli two clears from their first two riders, and now it's the turn of Martina Berheim Scar with Dion. Martina dropped four poles in round one. Hers was the drop score. As I say, we already have two clears, so if she can clinch a clear, then her team will be secure on that score of 16. And she does get the clear. That is a serious turnaround for uh, Martina Bergheim Scar. That's a great, great result. And three clears already for Norway. Their final rider does not need to jump. And their final score will be 16. then to Sweden, to Ella Lofkist with Mexico. Two poles dropped for her in round one. Eight then for Ella Lockist and Mexico for Sweden. Put Sweden onto a team total of 20, which will drop them behind Norway. It means that Norway climb up to fourth place to go back to Ireland. Cameron Clark is the third rider for Ireland with Conto de Rev. Two drop down in round one. And we have a four and an eight so far on the Irish score sheet in round two.
Cameron coming home clear. One fence left to jump. And brilliantly done with Conto de Rev. Means that Ireland can stay on a provisional score of 12, which has them in third place. They're just one fence ahead of Norway. Very, very close in this competition. One fence separates so many of these teams. So, to Belgium then, to Jules Denute with Hector. Jules jump clear in round one, Belgium have a clear and a four, but of course came through from round one with nothing to add at all. So a clear from Jules here would keep them within touching distance of finishing on a clean sheet. Remember the Netherlands have to count four now. They have two four faulting rounds in round two. So Belgium are jumping to retain the lead here. Yes, and they keep on that lead. Jules Denute keeps Team Belgium at the top of the tree. Nothing to add, and they would dearly love to drop that score of four. the Netherlands then it's the turn of Nick Nanning. Netherlands sit on a score of four, Ireland are on 12 in third place so Nick Nanning could do with a clear here. Would be a double clear for him should he be able to achieve a clear. Of course Jim's Cassina is the ride. ride keeps a lovely rhythm around the turns just moves up a bit for the oxer but it's going to be a pole down for Nick Nanning as well Oof, puts the Netherlands on a score of eight. Even if Sieber Lehmans can jump clear, they will go home with eight. They are now only one hole ahead of Ireland. If Sieber Lehmans can't jump clear, they'll go to 12 and they'll be joint with Ireland. Well, Jona Illy is uh, choosing to still complete this course just for the benefit of her and her horse. Uh, it's Keltas Quillian. Finland, though, are out of the race. They are not able to field three scores in this competition. So as a team, they're eliminated, but Jona is 
perfectly entitled to jump this course in any case with Keltas Quidia. Yola picked up 22 in round one, so one pole down so far in round two. Well, Yona Ili decides to retire. But uh, crucially, Finland have. Uh, without the counting score. So please, Poland finish in ninth, uh, fin Finland will finish in eighth place. Lupuch is uh, in the arena now for Switzerland. Lupuch uh, coming forward with four from round one, eight now from round two for Switzerland. Uh, they drop the score of 16. It gives a total of 40. For, uh, Switzerland picking up 20 in round two as well as in round one. Switzerland are more than likely finishing in seventh place. Germany will be up next. Final rider for the German team is Leonard Tillmann with Bai Balu. Nations Cup and European Championship rider. Those, though, coming in the uh, children's category. By Balu is the 16-year-old gelding that he is partnering. They jumped in the Children's Nations Cup together in 2021. This is their first Nations Cup appearance for a couple of years now. Comes forward from round one on a score of eight. Germany on a minimum score of 28. Seal a place in the top six.
Well, it's a clear for Leonard Tillman of Germany. Really nice to see that very good result for this experienced pair. They will add eight from round two and finish on 28. Puts them in at worst sixth. team are next up to complete that they have three clears already that have, as ever Mikael Fred and Nilsson is going to decide to continue anyway and to finish this competition but with three clears it means that the Norwegian team have nothing to add and they will finish on their round one score of 60. Fred and Nilsson gives a really good confidence building round, just gets the experience and certainly for these young riders it's really good to get as many rounds under their belts as possible. One down for the Norwegian rider, that's the drop score, they don't add anything from round two and they finish on 16. Team Sweden come next. Could see a little bit of a shakeabout in the leaderboard here as um, Sweden came forward from round one on a score of 12. Now they must count at least eight. So Norway have slotted themselves into fourth place already. And Sweden's final rider is Carl Hugo Westergren with Dagada de Grevis. Another very experienced European and uh, European Championship and Nations Cup rider. clipped for Carl Hugo Westgren. Unfortunately, the Swedish score is ticking up. It's just one to add then for Carl Hugo. They'll drop the score of 18 and add 12 from round two to give them a score of 24. 24 will put Sweden into fifth place. Norway are in fourth. However, those strong performances in round two could see Norway continue to climb. They are just one pole behind Ireland. Emily Maloney is jumping for a podium finish for Team Ireland. Temple Alice is the ride. If she can jump clear, They'll stay on a score of 12 and they will finish in third. That is what she needs to do. The clear would clinch third. However, one pole down would put them equal with Norway and they would share third spot. Two down and 
Ireland would drop into fourth and Norway would take third spot. So this is crucial for the Irish team. The pressure is very much resting on Emily Maloney. Team Ireland won the Pony Nations Cup earlier on today. And they're always so strong in that category, but such a strong team in the Nations Cups as well. The team have been pretty consistent across the course of this competition. Emily Maloney then coming home with the clear to seal third place for Ireland. Gets the clear and it's a double clear for her as well. So that means they can drop the score of eight. It means they can just add the four. And Ireland will finish on the podium. They'll take third place for now. Well, this is an important round as well, but even if Seppa Ruters has a real nightmare of a round, Belgium will finish on four. And so we know that nobody else can catch them. Great, though, to see Seppa Ruters just rounding things out with Coffee Cook de Muse. This pair are the final combination for our leading team of Belgium. Just this final line then for Seppa Wouters now. Belgium, the leading team. It'd be great to get a clear here. They would be the only team to finish on a clean sheet. And what an achievement that would be in the context of this competition. And he gets there. It's a double clear, three double clears for Belgium. They are far and away the best team of this competition and they cannot be caught they will be your winners belgium have been dominant in this first leg of the fei jumping nations cup youth series they won the children's category the young riders and now the juniors as well only one category has eluded them this week Siba Lehmans with Gem Vidi Rilu Zetho has it to do. The question is, will the Netherlands tie for second place or will they hold on to second? Gem Vidi Rilu Z is the ride. If Siba Lehmans can jump clear, the Netherlands will finish on a score of eight. And they will be firmly in second place. One pole down. We'll see them on a score of 12. One pole or more, we'll see them finish on a score of 12. And they will tie with Ireland for second. Oh, a pole down for Siba Lehmans. It will be 12. Oh, another pole goes. It certainly will be 12 for the Netherlands. Ah, and they'll be tied with Ireland now for second place. Two down. 
despite the clear in round one, Sieber Lehmanns is going to secure but a great result for the Irish team. They climbed up with some really strong performances. Fourth place will, in fact, go to Norway. Sweden take fifth. Germany takes sixth. Switzerland takes seventh. Uh, Finland take eighth. And Poland take ninth place in this competition. Well, that rounds things out for this pre-horse auction Belgium. The Junior Nations Cup here from St. Tower Park in Belgium. Another win for the Belgian team. A third win of the week in these Young Rider Nations Cup competitions. They've won the Young Riders, they won the Children's Competition, and now the Juniors as well. Ponies went to Team Ireland, but the Belgian contingent have come out very, very strongly and come out on top. Three out of our four categories. The only team to finish on a clean sheet as well. Nothing to add for them at all. Three double clears for three of their key riders, Louis Lambrecht, Jean Denit, and Sever Reuters, but of course a key performance as well from Paris Van Dusselaar. Just one pole dropped in each round, which clinched them the win. Well, the podium is just being built in the arena, ready for the prize giving, which we'll bring you in just a couple of minutes' time. Great win for Belgium and tying for second place. We have Ireland and the Netherlands. We will be bringing you that prize giving ceremony in just a moment's time. Remember, if you would like to watch any of these competitions back, you can do so in the FEI TV archive. All of them will be available to watch on demand at your leisure. The next leg of this series is not too far away as well. And we'll, of course, be bringing you all of these live on FEI TV. The next leg of this series. The FEI Jumping Nations Cup Youth Series will be in Compiègne in France, taking place from the 17th to the 21st of April. All four categories will be represented once again. And all of which are on the FEI TV. We're just awaiting the prize giving ceremony for our Junior Nations Cup. The winners, Belgium, will be heading, of course, to the top of the podium, followed by joint second place, Ireland and the Netherlands. They are your top three. Do bear with us while the arena is just prepared for that prize giving. We will be back in just a minute's time.
Well, following this first leg, of course, it will be maximum points for Belgium in many of the categories. Belgium taking the win in those three categories. As I mentioned, Ireland will be leading the way in the series standings in the pony category. And these different nations will be competing across a nine-leg series in their bid to secure as many points as possible in this 2024 running of the FEI Jumping Nations Cup Youth Series. As I say, France hosts the next leg and then we travel to Stuttgart in the Czech Republic, Linz Ebelsberg in Austria, those two both coming in April as well. May sees us travel to Dramen in Norway, Gusto Arsizio in Italy and Zubold in the Netherlands. In June, we'll take you to Hagen in Germany. And then the last leg will be in Dielsdorf Zurich in Switzerland in August. The final of the 2024 season will be taking place in Lier in Belgium in September, from the 12th to the 15th of September. on the FEI TV social channels for the timetables of those events and also for any further action for the rest of the weekend from Centaur Park. These Nations Cups of course being the real highlight for these young riders moments that they've been working towards for many weeks, months and possibly even years in their careers. It's a real honour for them to be selected to represent their countries. to be selected to represent their countries in such a prestigious setting and it's great for these young riders to also be able to gain the experience in high profile venues such as this. Here they come then, your leading teams. Team Belgium, they're dressed in their rugs. Five horses, of course, as they bring their reserve as well. Team then heading into the ring is Team Ireland, led by James Kernan. That team is made up of Gary Dooley, Paddy Reap, Cameron Clark, and Emily Maloney. Finally, in come the Dutch team, the team for the Netherlands, led by Edwin Hugenrat, and made up of Timon Boss, Jonny van Sandvoort, Nick Nanning, and Siba Liemens.
Well, here they are then, your bronze medal winning team, the Netherlands. In fact, they take third place based on their time. Second place goes to Team Ireland. Uh, we just mentioned that fantastic performances from these young riders to take those top placings. And finally, your winning team, Team Belgium, led by Philippe Lacus. Team made up of Louis Lambrecht, Paris Van Dusela, Jules Denut, and Sepper Walters. These competitors will now climb onto the podium and we'll just hear the national anthem of Belgium. We'll then ask the riders to remount and take their lap of honour to seal their win. Well, huge congratulations once again to Team Belgium for yet another win this week. Second place, Ireland. And third goes to the Netherlands. Well, thanks so much for joining us in these exciting Nations Cup competitions, everybody. It's been a real pleasure to take you through these classes, and I very much look forward to joining you again for the next leg from uh, Compiègne in France from the 17th to the 21st of April. Have a wonderful evening, whatever you're doing, and don't forget to rewatch any of this competition in the FEI TV archive. Have a great evening and enjoy your weekends.